Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to review just one problem uh, associated with uh, congruent angles and parallel lines. All right, the first problem, we're given circle O and we're also given that DC is parallel to AB. So let's mark this up. DC is parallel to AB. And I want to prove that segment AD is congruent to BC. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to play with the diagram, and we're going to mark it up. And I think before we do that, let's consider uh, marking uh, the diagram and drawing an auxiliary line. So I'm going to draw my auxiliary, actually two auxiliary lines, one from D to O and the other from O to C. And then I'm going to recognize that uh, AB is a diameter. Uh, as part of the diagram. I know that AO is going to be congruent to OB. I also know that because all radii are congruent, OD is going to be congruent to OC, which is going to be congruent to OB and also OA. So when we handle problems like this, my suggestion to my students first is to mark up the diagram and to understand what it is they're trying to prove and to understand how to prove it before they go through the process of writing out their two column proof. So now I have uh, four segments that are congruent and I also know that I have two parallel lines that are given AB and DC. Well I know that uh, alternate interior angles of a uh, between two parallel lines cut by a transversal are going to be congruent. So I can say that angle one is congruent to angle two. Let me mark that in the diagram as well. I'm going to mark that in blue. Angle 1 is going to be congruent to angle 2. Well, I know that if I have two lines or two segments that are congruent, the angles opposite those segments are congruent. So I know that OD is congruent to OC, so angle 2 must be congruent to 4. So now I have 1, 2, and 4 that are all congruent. Now. I have two parallel lines, again, A, B, and D, C. I know alternate interior angles are congruent, so I can say angle 3 is congruent to angle 4. Well, if 1 is congruent to 2 and 2 is congruent to 4 and 3 is congruent to 4, then 1 and 3 must also be congruent by the transitive property. And if 1 and 3 are congruent, A, O, O, B, D, O, and C, O are congruent. I have two triangles here, uh, A, O, D, and... BOC that are congruent by side angle side. If I have two triangles that are congruent by CP, CTC, I know that AD, segment AD, is congruent to BC. So we'll go through the proof here. I have circle O that's given. I'm going to draw my auxiliary line OD, OC. Um, I know that all these segments AO, OB, DO, and CO are all congruent because all radii of a circle are congruent. I know that AB is parallel to DC, that's given. And then I know that angle 1 and 2 are congruent, and 3 and 4 are congruent. Because if I have parallel lines, then alternate interior angles are going to be congruent. I don't know if the 3s and 4s are correct here, uh, meaning the numbers relative to the other diagram. And I can say that angle 2 is congruent to angle 3, because if sides are congruent, then the angles opposite them are congruent. Now I can say that angle 1 is congruent to 4, so yes, th these angles are in the correct order. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 4 by the transitive property. Now I can say triangle AOD is congruent to BOC by side angle side. So I have angle AOD congruent to BOC by side angle side. Now I can say that AD is congruent to BC by CPCTC.